Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you'll meet my patient who has a deep-seated corn on one foot and painful callus on the other. If callus is painful, it may not be the corn, but the underlying prominent bone may need surgery. Let's see which foot needs surgery. Okay, we have Michael here. Michael, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. He has this pretty painful callus, right? This is pretty painful? Yeah. This is the same one that we burnt before and it was good for a while and then came back, right? That's correct. So how long was it good? About three months. Oh, that's it? Yeah. It didn't last that long. Maybe four. Maybe four. <laughs> Usually, they don't come back. Yeah, that's what I heard, but... I don't know what happened. Once in a while, I don't know. Just what, what? decided to linger a little bit. I know, what, what, what do you think happened? I don't know. Maybe they're I, I, not walking enough. They're not walking enough. <laughs> Actually, when people walk too much, you get this. Right. Yeah. So I'm just cleaning it out here. These are deep-seated corns. So these are pretty painful, right? Yeah, uh, it actually hurts when I walk. Yeah. Especially when I walk barefoot. So I try yeah. To do that. Don't go barefoot because <laughs> this is going to be very tender. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to clean this out and... I use very strong chemical to burn this, which usually does the job of getting rid of it completely, but sometimes once in a while these things can come back. So, was it painful uh, last time when I burnt it? Was no, it bad? not really. It went pretty easy. Pretty easy? Yeah. Okay. And, the, you know, it, it was gone for a long time, then it just kind of slowly came back. Like in the last month, it started to get... Started getting a little sore, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was just a callus at first forming, but then I realized something underneath it. <laughs> yeah. There, there's one right there. There's a round circle here. That's the corn. Callus is usually not painful because they're... Your, your body's trying to protect it, you see? Mm. So form the little thick layer to protect yourself, but when that happens, your sweat cannot come through because of the callus, and then it goes inward and forms little rocks. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah, oh, they're, they're called the, we call them IPK, mm. intractable plantar keratosis, or corn. People call it like a corn. Mm. So that's what this is. Is this where the pain is right here? Right there? It's not that painful at the moment, but yeah. Is that where it's like that is? Dead center on the callus. Yeah. Actually, I'm I'm going deeper a little bit, but it's that I don't see the other corn or IPK yet. I have to go a little deeper to see. I saw one there. You think there might be more than one in there? Yeah, it could be because this is pretty big, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big one, usually smaller. The other side, you have a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word callus or corn in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But unfortunately, smaller doesn't mean any <laughs> any less painful, you see? Yeah. These little, little rocks can be very, very sensitive and painful, you see? Mm. Yeah. You okay so far? Yeah, it's not painful at all. It's yeah. So I'm going a little bit deeper, but I don't see the other corn yet. I'm just going a little bit deeper. Um, one day I may, I may see it. As you can see, we got quite a bit down, but I still don't see that other one that I was expecting. So, We'll see. Are you on your feet a lot these days or no? Not that much. Not that much. Really? You're doing the some worst part is going up and down the stairs. So oh, it is, down. huh? Yeah. yeah. You have you have stairs. You have two story house. Yeah. Yeah. Do that's you do? That's the big issue. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 a lot of kitchen work like uh, cooking, cleaning, and stuff or no? I do make a lot of meals. So. Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. That's fine. The kitchen does get to me after a while. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of standing. If I put a really thick socks on, it's not too bad, but you know, mm -hmm. that's not a solution. <laughs> do you wear like an indoor shoes? Uh, flip flops. Oh, I yeah. kind of padded. 
Yeah, yeah I, I recommend high arch sandals. I'm, I'll show you samples of them okay. and then you can order those. Uh, I, I love those high arch sandals. It would take pressure off this area. At the end of the day, it's the pressure that's causing this mm -hmm. cows to keep coming back, especially around this bone area. You see, that's the mm -hmm. prominent bone there. Right, yeah, I'll get you some uh, some names of some of those ones that with a high arch that would take pressure off this area. Hmm. But surprisingly, I don't see a really deep seated corn yet. I would I would have usually seen by now, but I keep going and going here. Let me know if you feel anything. No, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Looks good now. Do you feel that? No. Not anymore? No. You don't feel that anymore, huh? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't really see the... I don't see the corn, actually. I thought I saw one, but it, it, it could be just the bone now. Bone prominent. You see right here? Mm -hmm. That's the bone. So this is very close to the bone. I would have seen a corn here somewhere here, but I don't see it. So this could just be like a callus here. Let me go to the other side now. As you can see, there's no... Go to the other side. And he was also complaining about this. Yeah, this as you can, this one I can see the round corn in here. Even though it's not big, this could be quite tender because this little rock is sitting there, you see? So... The one on the right might be driven by the hammer toe pushing too far down. Exactly, there. yeah. So you have a hammer toe there and that's pushing that bone down and that's just causing a callus. Mm. So whatever we did last time worked for that. You didn't get the corn developed again. So I don't have to burn that one. Mm. But this one, even though it's small, you have a corn here, which would need a burning of a, a, a chemical here. Mm. Do, you, do you feel this one? You feel this one? Not when you're doing it. Not, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Not I terrible? I feel the pressure, not terrible. Yeah, this one is, I feel the bone underneath that too. But you can see this one has a little bit of round circle here, which is a corn, okay? So this one I will burn. The other one, you don't need to be, okay, have it burned. You already have your orthotics to take pressure off. It's okay. I think it's just, just a little prominent because of the hammer toe. I know we're going to fix that hammer toe, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to fix the hammer toe. That'll fix that problem for sure. But this corn here, we're going to burn it a little bit and then try to get rid of it. I'll put a little duct tape on it. You know the whole routine, right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Easy yeah. You know the whole drill. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some medicine right there right now. So let me get... You don't need a lot. You have very small... This is very small, thank God. That's all you need right now. And then I'm gonna put a little duct tape here. And then you're gonna keep changing the duct tape, right? Yep, every day. Okay. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks and, and that's really it. Right, thank thank you, you, Michael, for allowing us to film you today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you for watching this video. Deep-seated corns are extremely painful, but it can be burnt without surgery because it is a skin condition. On the other hand, if a callus is painful, it can be a prominent bone that's causing the problem that requires surgery in the future. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.